Hey guys, I'm Ronnie Anderson. I work with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and I'm here checking out this freshwater wetland that's nearby my house. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool things going on. Uh, let's talk about some of them. First of all, what's a wetland? A wetland, pretty easy. It's just land that is covered in water at least part of the year. This one stays wet most of the year. The water level will go up and down throughout the year, but there's always water in it. Uh, and this is actually a freshwater wetland because it's not connected to the ocean in any way. Uh, and this one was actually built by Anne Arundel County. It is a best management practice that they are using to help mitigate stormwater. There's a lot of crazy words thrown in there, but we can break it down together. Uh, so stormwater is things that will land on all of these impervious surfaces like the roads and then run into our gutters and down into the storm drain. So if you look over here, there's that concrete. That is where that culvert, that is where water will enter this pond. And then it'll hang out in this pond and it's actually connected directly to the water table. But the water stops here and is detained. So it's a detention basin. Uh, it stops here and some of the pollutants and things like that will actually settle out of the water. So that's what a wetland is, a created wetland. Um, and you can hear there's actually lots of stuff happening in and around the water here. As I first walked over, I scared a turtle. So there are definitely turtles living in the water. And if you hang out long enough and stay quiet, we might actually see a head pop up. And then you can hear there's all sorts of birds in and around the trees making tons of noise. So I'm going to stop talking and let you listen to that for a second. And if you look over on this side, I don't know if we can zoom in on that. Uh, there is this Canada goose sitting here in the middle of the pond. And then just behind him on the bank, fairly well camouflaged, is actually his mate sitting on a nest. And I haven't been able to see if they have any eggs yet. So we'll check back and see if they have eggs. And in a couple weeks, they actually have got them. So we'll keep an eye on that. So they're making their homes here. And then down in the shallows, uh, you can see a bunch of little tiny fish um, that are eating the, the algae and stuff like that that's growing. And then there's a couple of different plants that are living in and around the water. These guys here, these grasses that have their roots in the pond and then are growing out. We call those emergent plants because they are emerging from the water. Uh, and then on the higher elevations where the, wa the soil is a little bit uh, drier, we have actually some native tree species that were planted. And their job, pretty, pretty important, uh, is their, their roots are actually holding the soil in place. So they're stabilizing the bank. Hey guys, so there's a storm drain right over here. That's just one of several inputs to this pond. And as you can see, we're very close to several roads right here. This is just, this is an intersection. It's a fairly busy road. Um, but right over here at this pond, there's lots of stuff living. So there's still, it's still an excellent habitat. And we came over to this side so that we can get a better look at these Canada geese. Uh, and we're staying on the outside of the fence because we don't want to get too close to the water. And Canada geese can be very territorial around their eggs. Uh, and I don't want to get attacked in this stuff. And as we were walking over, we scared another turtle. So we're going to try to sneak over. There's another pond on the other side of the road. We're going to try to be really quiet and sneak over there and see if we can see some turtles. All right, hey guys, we were super sneaky. So there's still a turtle sitting over there in those grasses. And these grasses, they didn't cut back at the end of last season. So they still have the, the dead growth up top, which makes it possible to identify some of these grasses which is pretty cool and i can tell from here that there are at least two different kinds of those emergent grasses that we were talking about uh we can get a little bit closer there's one that looks like it sort of has a hot dog on a stick um that one is a kind of cattail uh and then the ones those very tall ones on the other side that's actually a species of phragmites uh, and they are really good at uh, growing in the water and holding on to the bank they have a really impressive root structure. And you can see there's a lot of other birds over on this side. For some reason, the birds like the ducks like the larger pond. Hey guys, 
All right, so we walked along the side of this pond, scared another turtle, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, and now we're over here uh, at the inflow for this pond. And it's a little different than the other one. So this, you see there's a storm drain over there. Uh, so in a rain event, the water will come from the storm drains, overflow there, and then come down the hill. And it will sort of, it's called meandering, and it's got these settling pools. So it's gonna zigzag back and forth and the purpose of that is to slow the water down and hopefully get some of the sediment or dirt particles to settle out of the water. Uh, so the goal is by the time the water gets down to the pond, it's moving much slower and it doesn't have so much dirt. 